Some play for glory. Some play for fame. And some just play for the love. Regardless of what drives them, they are on Backroads to Music City. Backroads to Music City is presented on 93.9 The Duck by Clinton Pipe and Supply, MT Bottle, and Race Paint and Body. Now, here's your host, Neil Gordon. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Backroads to Music City, a show dedicated to bringing you, our listeners, the best of the local music scene. I'm Neil Gordon, your host, and back with us in the studio tonight, Mark in the Dark, Mark Majors. How are you, buddy? Back from reality, back to reality. Yeah? Heck yeah. It's good to be here. So where have you been? Well, I went to the Extreme Experience Retreat last week in uh, Alabama. Mm-hmm. This was a retreat for blind people. I helped blind people uh, at archery, fishing. Nope. Uh, we swam, climbed big, huge slides, and slid off into the lake. Wow. It's pretty amazing. I think I learned more than they did, actually. It was pretty much it was a soul-strengthening experience to see how some people overcome and fight. And That's very civic-minded of you, Mark. I'm pretty cool. Let's turn that mic Wait, can you not hear me? No, can no, you no. hear me now? I can hear you now. And also in the studio with us tonight, we got Chase Clanton. Chase, how are you, my friend? Pretty good. What about you? Uh, what a show you put on yesterday. Uh, thanks, man. It was a lot of fun. Chase's new band, Triple Threat, made their grand debut yesterday by playing at two different shows. Yes, Fantastic. Sir. A lot of fun. It was. It was good. You, Denzel, and... Uh, Corey Flippo. Corey Flippo, yeah. right. Uh, did a great job. Uh, we got to find you a singer. Yeah, we got to find a singer for the band Triple Threat. Yep, but uh, the music was good. Several people stopped and commented, and uh, I think we've got video of that show as well, don't we? Yeah, we've got a couple videos floating cool. around. We're going to put those out there somewhere, maybe? Oh, yeah. Great, great. Well, folks, we have with us in the studio tonight uh, local musicians, the band Thunder Frog. Guys, how are you tonight? Doing good. How about yourself? We're got, we're happy to be here. Hey, man. We're going to have a great time. Saw these guys, Mark, at the I Am What I Am Music Festival there in uh, Shelbyville at the Ag Center. I liked it that day. We got to talk to them right before they came on to the studio, or the stage, rather. And uh, you guys were all excited and pumped that day. You know, you were pretty high strung. Yeah, it had been a while since we had played any shows, and we were really excited to get on stage because we had never played acoustic before. So, I know, really like the vibe, guys. I do, and that's kind of what you're going to do for us tonight, right? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, we're going we're going to get it hopping up in here. All right. Hey, uh, the the voice you hear right now belongs to Ryan Frizzell, but Ryan, why don't you introduce everybody and uh, and tell what they all play? Well, uh, uh, we got uh, John Miller. He's on the. The Cajon tonight, we call it the Cajun. He's a he's our percussionist drummer, and then we've got Dallas Blackwell on the on the get fiddle violin. All right, we've got uh, get fiddle violin. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Will Lahue on the lead guitar here in vocals, and we've got Sam Lloyd back here playing the fish. <laughs> <laughs> playing the fish. Yeah. Uh, the you know the bass the bass okay the old bass the bass <laughs> okay, yeah. I got you I got you you know Mark when you work with these artists that's kind of how it is man they are so cool and funny you know now They're Ryan just so wild though it's Ryan as well stuff. as a musician you 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 do visual art as well yes sir yes I I'm a I'm a full time artist I, I I can paint you up a picture of anything just about well I saw some of your artwork on the internet this week. I thought you had some really cool stuff that wasn't there. Uh, uh, no, I think you purchased a Frankenstein piece, maybe? Uh, no, I've actually uh, I've got two pieces, uh, both Frankenstein pieces that were featured in the Murfreesboro Pulse. Okay. Uh, online and in the the print version there. So so pick you up a version of that and check that out. It's a great publication as well. And uh, I have art showing at uh, several galleries around Middle Tennessee area and uh, Earth Soul Gallery in Smyrna, Tennessee. There's... There's some art hanging up there, and there's a there's a horror Halloween art show coming up at Two Tone Art Gallery on the Square in Murfreesboro. So everybody should definitely check that out if they get the chance. That'll be a lot of fun, and that's for the month of October, I'm assuming. Yes, yes. 
Very cool. Now, guys, we're going to start with our first question, which is always, what was the first concert you ever attended as a fan? So you can take turns in whichever order you would like to, uh, but uh, give us a good story there, or just tell us who it was. The first concert I ever saw, actually, uh, I went to Leonard Skinner and Bad Company with my dad when I was about 12 years old. Uh, that was an, an eye-opening experience for a young man on many levels. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun, huh? It was indeed. It was. Very cool. All right. Who else? Step up. Yeah. My first concert was the Family Value Store. I saw Corn and Stone Sour play, and I got severely dehydrated throughout the day. So it wasn't that fun. The the Family Values Tour starring How Corn. old were you, and why did you get so dehydrated? Because I, I was 12 years old, and I thought if I drank a 44-ounce Coke that I was de, that I would be hydrated throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really worked out, huh? I love that. Okay, who else? Go ahead. I, I had, uh, this is Ryan. Yeah. Uh, my first show, I hate to admit it, and, like, you've got me on air saying this, but it was actually uh, New Kids on the Block. Ah! Yeah, wow. it was, yeah. yeah. I, I was hanging tough that night. Man. Oh, man. See, Ryan, that's why we always have to ask that question because... It's fun. It was at, it was at Murphy Center, and uh, I believe Boys to Men opened oh. that night, and Jodeci. So. Main musical influences, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah. big. Jodeci yeah. was good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all be doing a little bit of uh, Marky Mark and stuff tonight, right? Oh, yeah, we got some Sir Mix a lot. We throw in the mix and everything. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay, somebody quick. We go to a better concert than that. <laughs> uh, the first one I think I paid for was I went and I caught Weezer with a couple of buddies. Oh. Yeah, that was, uh, it was Woo. Pretty fun night. Okay, you just brought some good cred back to the band. Okay. All right, somebody else. This is Dallas. All okay. right, Dallas. I went to a Lincoln Park concert. Okay. Several years back at the Bridgestone Arena. Nice. Ah! I know. Ah! Yeah. Says the new kids on the block. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Did we get everybody I now? I nothing. That's, yeah. yeah, I think that's everybody. Okay. Uh, let me let me talk to our fiddle player in there because this is a question I always have to ask the fiddle player. Was there ever a time when that was that was a violin to you, or has it always been a fiddle, or does it continue to be both for you? Well, do you you don't know the difference between a fiddle and a violin, so I'll go ahead and explain that one has strings and the other one has strings. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice strings and strings. Okay, which one do you have? I've got strings. I'm an educated fiddle player. Oh, okay, an educated <laughs> fiddle player. So. You then your background probably is you you had training as a violinist at it. I did. I went. Uh, I started in middle school, and uh, they had a strings program in Nashville. Okay. And took my start from there, and then went to orchestra in, at MTSU. Oh, very cool. Uh, did you do Suzuki method? Um, I did not. Um, actually, they just uh, had a way of teaching me how to read the music and they, they hit you in the it. knuckles with a ruler until you got it that's right Absolutely. oh man again again <laughs> yes do it again again okay guys it's time for a song what do you say what are we gonna play uh this first one it's it's a wild one it's it's titled wild all right here we go <laughs> Tell me now, child. Tell me now, child. 
I like it. That's got a good groove, fellas. We appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's Thank a you. lot of fun. If we're if that's what we're in store for tonight, Mark, it's going to be a good, good night, don't you think? You have to go to our Facebook page immediately to watch what I just recorded. You're about to put it up? Yeah, right now. It's about to get wild. Backroad <laughs> Space TMC is our Facebook page, and it was just cool to watch the rhythm and the feel. It's grooving. Ah, nice stuff, fellas. That's yours, right, Wild? Yes, yes, all these songs are ours. Nice. nice. You guys are coming on with the quickness all right that's beautiful here that's we go we're going to go to our first commercial break and when we come back more music with thunder frog chase take us to the break mm-hmm. 